Welcome back to Tampa Bay's Morning Blend. Carly and I have been having fun talking about the fashion these days in COVID. You look okay, say, for a Zoom call or being on television, but you got the PJ pants on in the back. Well, apparently we are not alone. We're seeing some of these fashion trends take over in summer. So we wanted to call one of our friends, Nikki Platt, of course, a fashionista, stylist here in the Bay Area, to give us an idea of what are some of the trends and maybe how we can recreate these trends and still be comfortable at home. Nikki, how are you today? I'm great. How are you? I am well, thank you. So I got to tell you, as soon as I look at your shot right now, I'm starting to see one of the trends I've been reading about. I'm seeing neon, I see the bright lips, I see the bright pink. We're talking a little neon today, aren't we? Yes, we sure are. Check, check, check. Uh, neon is <laughs> neon's a huge trend right now, and uh, I'm all for it, as you can tell, my neon top. Um, and neon can be, especially like neon green, I feel like it's like the big color right now. And it can be a little scary to wear. And even I, like, I bought this top and I was like, I don't know what to do with this. But then I liked pairing it with like, like a fellow green hue and I even did it with like an olive green so I feel like if you kind of keep like the green family going it can be an easy way to incorporate like neon green also though if you're scared or nervous about it it's always great with white denim black you know your, your basics Ooh, even like navy would be fabulous too so you know you don't have to always go like color overboard like I do because I love color you can kind of do it in, like toned down ways too you know, one of the ways, too, I'm going to confess, I have not necessarily been ordering to like a lot of dresses or things that I go to normally when I'm working outside of the home, but more like shirts and T-shirts. I've also seen tie-dye coming back with the neon twist. That's got to be one way to work it in, too, and kind of in a comfortable maybe T-shirt way while we are working at home. Absolutely. Tie-dye has been a huge trend. I don't see it going anywhere for a while. But like you said, it's a great way to incorporate that in a more relaxed way. Absolutely. So speaking of relaxed way, uh, you know, party on, what is it, work on top, maybe party or comfortable on the bottom. You've got a few ideas there that kind of shows that, and maybe people can use that in their wardrobe, depending on how long they've got to stay at home. Absolutely. So I've got a few trends here on the mannequin. So sleeve detail, puff sleeve, any kind of interesting sleeve detail has been a huge trend right now. And then also like shorts, Bermuda shorts especially, have been a huge trend. And I know people think, well, shorts, that's Florida. But no, typically shorts are not seen on the runways in fashion magazines. That's typically like a big faux pas, but they're everywhere. So these elastic waistbands, so if you've gained a few COVID pounds, like me, um, it's forgiving. And then this great shirt. I know people think button-ups can be a little, I don't want to say stuffy, but maybe a little too office-y. So if you maybe want to do your Zoom call, have it buttoned. But then maybe if you want to go to the pool or the beach, just tie it up. It looks a lot more relaxing and can actually be a great cover-up idea versus just a boring cover-up for the pool. Nice. And I love, too, that you were talking about the Bermuda shorts. I'm so glad, like, the short shorts are kind of out. I love that it's a little longer, you know? No one wants to see that upper thigh, you know? Come on. I love that we're doing that. At least I'm saying that from my personal experience. <laughs> no, I agree. Oh, so, and I know you've got a rack beside you there, and we're seeing still more of that, like, comfy on the bottom. I know that's what Carly and I are really embracing. Any ideas for how we can keep up our TV look up top? Absolutely. So linen is another huge trend this summer, and I love this kind of like natural linen with this great statement, loose light necklace. That's also a huge trend. So this would be a great for a Zoom call. It's very natural. So if you don't want a lot of color, color scares you, this is a great option. And then like you said, you can be totally like casual on the bottom. These linen shorts are super light, great for this Florida heat. So you look super professional up top, but then you're comfy. You don't have jeans digging into you, uncomfortable, super casual. But then say maybe you wanted to take a walk outside. You know, in this Florida heat, you have to protect yourself. So this hat, I love the tropical print. In case you don't like prints or color, this is a great way to add some color. And then of course, a great little bag to carry all, all your stuff in. But then if you want to maybe mix up this shirt, maybe you wanted to actually go have a dinner somewhere, obviously socially distancing, you can always swap out some accessories and wear this shirt in the evening. So this shirt, maybe say you throw it under or throw it over. Oh yeah. Yeah, so throw it over like a charmeuse, and this charmeuse color is also a huge trend, kind of up there with the neon. Huh. So, and also like chartreuse can be kind of a weird color to wear on a lot of skin tones, but I feel like if you kind of, I don't want to say hide it behind the linen shirt, but maybe kind of have some other things to ground it, it's not so weird, if that makes any sense. With that. Yeah, and one, I like the layering too. I think that that is I always... Well, and layering, people are like, oh, it's too hot for that. But layering really adds interest to your outfit a lot. So hmm. you have, like, 
a, a very lightweight silk charmeuse color black, uh, like canvas all tank top, a fabulous turquoise necklace, and a really great kind of long, super airy light green maxi skirt that has buttons. So if you do, do want to unbutton a few and have a little airflow, you've got it. So it's a great look to go out. Super casual. And and comfy, especially in this Florida heat. Absolutely. I like it. You know what, Nikki, before we let you go, though, I think one of the key parts to all of this and all of these fabulous finds that you shared with us, helping a good cause, too. These are all thrift store finds, weren't they? Yes, they are. I think everything I showed you, all the outfits, even my own outfit was thrifted from Suncoast Hospice resale shops. Everything is under $30, which is amazing. But also Suncoast Hospice is phenomenal. They do a lot of great things here in Pinellas County. All of your donations and purchases benefit patients and families here in Pinellas County. Now, I know in past years on the show, we've had you guys in studio to talk uh, different this situation this year. And when it comes to thrift store day, I know it's always a big sales day, but you too have had to change the way you're approaching a thrift store day. Now it might be a week, right, Nikki? Absolutely. So National Thrift Shop Day is, is August 17th, but we don't want to have an influx of people come to the stores. So we stretched out our big half price, the whole store's half price sale, the week of August 12th through the 19th. So come whenever you want, wear a mask so you don't have that humongous crowd. And there are three locations, St. Pete, Clearwater, and Countryside that you can shop and get your sale on all week. I love get your sale on, get your fashion on. Nikki, you have got it going on. Thanks for being with us today. It was a treat. Thank you so much for having me. You bet. And as always, we appreciate you two at home, so stay right there.